Hey Trip Zero here and uh, wanted to share with you what I've done for uh, my evaporative cooling intake. I've just upgraded this system to use PVC. Previously I was using some poly tubing similar to this and some, uh, some soaker tube. And the problem with soaker tube is I guess hard water and it clogs very easily if your water isn't exactly the most cleanest source. And I keep my water in this barrel, which tends to uh, accumulate random things like algae, even though it's black, somehow algae still gets in there. It's not exactly the cleanest source. So soaker tubes clog up, and so did the poly tube that I had the pools punched in. So this is, I think, a much better solution with PVC. I've got larger holes. And uh, what happens is the water comes in here. It fills up. Uh, there and I've got a loop coming back down to a two inch adapter which collects uh, there's a hole cut in here collects from the surface material or the transfer material and then returns back into the reservoir um, the hardest part is just making it so it doesn't leak and I don't know if you can see here but there is water coming down so I'm still working on the leak I've added this little cut piece of rubber hose to kind of help, but there's still a little bit of work to do with regard to that. Um, now, this is connected. One of the things I've been working on for the past couple years is just tuning things uh, to not fight against each other. So, for example, I've got a temperature set point where my exhaust fan will kick on. Um, if I'm going to exhaust air, which only happens in the most uh, desperate situations, if it's very, very hot, or if there's uh, you know too much CO2 or too much uh, gas that I don't like in there, um, I will exhaust the air in here. And in that case, there's no point in cooling the air um, via this evaporator or any other method. You can see uh, my other heat exchanger over there connected to the blue reservoir, there's no point in chilling, you know, cooling uh, the air if it's just going to be pumped to the outside. Um, so you can do that with, I guess, some, some uh, thermostats. I, I'd have to think it through more, but uh, computer control really helps in this situation. Um, getting things not to fight each other. Now, how does evaporative cooling work? Well, the physics behind it is, is it takes a certain amount of energy to, to phase change, to convert, uh, if you will, liquid water into a gas form. And that energy is going to have to come from a certain, uh, you know, the most available source. And in this case, the warmest source is the outside air coming in. So it's going to suck energy out of the air and a uh, basic principle of thermodynamics is if you, if you transfer, um, if you take energy away from the thing, it gets cooler. The more energetic a thing is, the warmer it is. So taking energy away from that thing reduces its temperature. So the air coming in here is actually quite cool. And uh, I do have a, a heat exchanger hooked up to this thing where I can pump my chilled water through it for additional cooling, uh, but over the winter time, this heat exchanger kind of broke. Um, so I may, I may replace that, but the main point of this video is just to show uh, the evaporative cooling solution. There are many ways to do this. A lot of them use PVC similar to what I'm using. Some of them use some, uh, like, uh, what do you call that? The uh, thing up there, the rain water collectors. Uh, uh, slips my mind at the moment, but it, you under you get the point. Something to collect the water and recycle it. This will eventually drain, aside from the leaks, uh, just because the water is being evaporated and it's being pumped inside. Now there may be additional intelligence you can do 
to determine like if the temperature is and humidity is so much inside you're not going to get as much benefit or if the humidity is so high outside you're not going to get as much benefit because the air is unable to hold the the gas water um, so that's important and there's some diminishing returns of course the more humid the outside world is so this is, doesn't always work in all situations and with uh, if you have a computer controlled greenhouse you can kind of work around those things but I haven't I haven't looked into that yet but uh, for now this is a pretty good solution I'm gonna work on those leaks but wanted to uh, share with you evaporative cooling and hopefully help you learn how it works why it works and why it's beneficial that's it trip zero out cheers